Martin Gould currently ranked 20th. And one thing I would say about him, there's more difference between his best and his worst than there is for most top 30 players. He's what I would call an inspirational player. Well, very ragged start. Ronnie O'Sullivan won. Put it on the side jaw. One. Hey, so said, Clive, that was a very ragged attempt at the pot by Ronnie. Nine. Yeah, pretty basic shot. Okay, that hit it hard, but normally no problem. I made contact with the wrong red there. 16. All the reds were covering each other, that's why I had to go into them. And that's a good pot, though. 17. Finish cut. Not not automatic position. Twenty four. Looks like he's lining up to take this long yellow on. Another pot right in the middle of the pocket. Is that cue ball to slope a little bit? Oh, that's very unlucky. Took the positive shot on, he's not had 26. any reward. Martin Gould, 26. Containing safety, he hopes. <laughs> Almost. Here's an excellent chance for O'Sullivan. It kind of forced Martin into taking the long red on. He always knew that if he missed it, it could probably cost him the frame, the way the reds are. One. Four. Five. O'Sullivan normally deadly in this sort of position. Yeah, that's because his professional play is the best in the world. Twelve. That's one of the reasons his, his, his shot time and the time it takes to build breaks is, is so quick. Not because when he gets down he plays the shot any quicker than anyone else, but because he never has to think, Clive. He's always perfect position. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty-seven. Well, a lot of balls moved there, but he always knew what he was doing. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. 
34. Forty. Forty one. Forty eight. Cue ball around two cushions in between the yellow and blue. Well, in fact, he was straight enough to play the stun shot, so that's even better. Forty nine. Fifty-two. Just as well because the brown is situated slightly awkwardly. Fifty-four. <clears throat> Fifty-seven. Sixty-one. So after a ragged start on both sides. Sixty-six. Gould wobbled along red, and Sullivan stepped in to secure the frame. Seventy-two. One. That really was a good pass. First glance, it didn't look on. So again, he's in early in the frame. Five. Failed to take advantage. Six. Twelve. Thirteen. We'll probably play the cannon into the three reds by the pink spot here. Bit surprised he's played that shot, and if he's not on a red, well, he's got a red to the yellow pocket, but. Is he on nice this one to the right corner? Strange shot tries that for me. He's a massive target to go into those five reds. Well, I need to hardly underline the point that uh, you were always going into bunches and clusters to open the, open the reds at the first reasonable opportunity. Plenty. However, you are still batting. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Just off straight, slightly the wrong side. That was a nice shot. You have to really nip the cue ball well. Really have to time it perfectly. 
when you're low in the black to get the, the action on it, lots of right hand side. So a decent opportunity now. Those two reds there. I think the right hand side one. Four four. Because I think he played for that. That shot we talked about earlier. Forty five. So I'd be very disappointed if he didn't win the frame from here. Fifty-three. I don't think O'Sullivan is expecting another chance in this frame, but still he might get one. Sixty. Again, a delicate little shot required here. Turn the cue back, ball back for the black. Sixty-one. Over the line, surely. Need snookers, but. 68. I doubt whether he'll be playing for them. 69. Chance here for Gould to make a century. Follow the cue ball into those two reds just to nudge one away from the other, leave himself on the black. 76. Martin Gould, 76, and the Frank. No century, but he's perfectly happy with 76. Martin Gould levels the match at one all. Thirteen. Martin Gould, 13. A very untimely miscue. The tip in his cue looks tiny, Clive. I'd have changed that a long time ago. 17. How often did you change your tip when you were on the circuit, Stephen? Generally, a tip would last me maybe two or three months, Clive. Um, I never liked it. As I say, we, we caught a glimpse of the tip on Martin Gould's queue there, and it was very low. I would never get it, let it get that to that stage, because I'd be worried about miscuing all the time, like we just seen him doing there. But, but every player's different. Yeah, some players like to see when you're looking down the queue when you're playing a shot. They like to see the tip, and they sort of use it as a sort of guide. Um, I myself used to like seeing the tip at the, at the end of the queue. One. I think he's just got past being straight in the blue. Well. The pot itself wasn't a gimme, and also Only O'Sullivan six. O'Sullivan knew the cue ball was going into other balls, and not having it clear in his mind what was going to happen, all contributed to making a bit of a mess of that shot. Scrappy stuff at the moment. One. Pot. I'd love to get on the red that's just above Four. the black spot here. You could even play for the red that's closest to the black, but the one above the black spot's the the one he's chosen. Nine. Ten. Had the wrong angle to get black ball position. Fifteen.
Well, Martin Gould, 15. I had to raise the butt of the queue to get the necessary stun, but marginally overcut the red. One. Eight. Nine. Even that little last shot there, when he didn't finish straight in that red to play for the black, shows to me that he's not completely fully concentrating properly at the moment. I've seen the time earlier in his career when 15. playing like this, O'Sullivan would have become so self-critical that he would have made himself even worse. But he's just uh, got to keep trying, hope his best form returns. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Into the lead with that pink. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Forty-four. Forty-five. Does he try to drop behind the red? Or does he play to cannon it? Just drifted past the cannon. 52. Tony O'Sullivan, 52. The glass and escape perfectly. <laughs> O'Sullivan comes out on top, though, in the safety duel. Table is needing only a red and a colour. That was the red. And here's the colour. Six. Eight. Neil Sullivan, eight. Three. Martin Gould, three. Foul. Martin Gould, four. I think the standard of snookering and counter snookering has improved generally amongst the top players on the circuit in the last few years because there are so many tournaments and it's also intensely competitive. Maybe escape that time. Mark Selby is a terrific layer of snookers, for instance.
Martin Gould, four. Had the blue dropped, it would have been one six point snooker to win. Sullivan's long pot fails, so he's still not over the line. Yeah, I think if Martin gets the opportunity, he will pot the blue. So you say Clive and only in one snooker to win, especially where the black is. It's in a decent position. Foul. Oh, well. End of frame. We're trying to stun out over five. via the side cushion behind the black. Five. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 11 in the frame. O'Sullivan had a 52 break in that frame and managed to hold off most of Gould's attempts at snoopering. So O'Sullivan leads by two frames to one. Foul. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. Unlucky. Didn't mean to flick the green on the way back. Two reds to the right, the black spot in the cannon on that if there's too much angle just to drop it in. He's played the cannon. He's just one cute old drift. I think he's still on the black, but this pot is tricky. Yes, a lovely shot. A much trickier pot than it looked on the screen. Twenty-nine. I'm sort of nowhere near his best, but still probably playing rather better than he imagines. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 35, and the front. An unsatisfying half session for O'Sullivan, but nevertheless, he leads by three frames to one at the mid-session interval. Just a safety, but he wasn't expecting to double the red over the ball pocket. One. Yeah, well done. Five. It's really hard to see how you can get in a colour here because of that loose red and the bunch is in the way the path of the cue ball. You may have to force the cue ball through the bunch here. That's what he's tried. 13. Tough shot. <laughs> 20. I think the pink's available to the right corner. Twenty-one. He is a heavy scorer when he's playing well. Would love to try and get on that red to the left of the black. Twenty-eight. To the left corner. Bring the black up to both pockets. Thirty-three. 34. Important frame 40. in the match for Martin Gould. This far more important for Martin than Ronnie, you would think. 41. 48. Forty-nine. The head, careless. 
just off straight the wrong way on the black. Can follow through for the red to the right centre of two cushions. Fifty six. Fifty seven. A moment of alarm. Sixty two. Red and reasonably high value colour. Could leave her Sullivan needing a snooker. Martin Gould, 62. Tried to play on the blue there. Red and blue would have put him 68 in front, whereas even the brown would only have put him 67 in front with 67 on. One. Yeah, he's perfect on the brown. One cushion into the bunch of this. Turns out well. There's a new favourite for the frame. Be in the red, it's next to the black. Five. But judging from his body language, I don't think he's on that one. Six to two, five to Gould Clive. Who would your money be on now for the winner of the frame? Well, Six. it all depends what happens to the red and black. almost the best shot he's played in the match so far if he, he landed on a red that was, he didn't want to be straight in that pink but he cued it superbly 13 that was a good shot as well 18 Nineteen. Right, you'd like to see it leave on an angle in this red. He wants that cue ball to stop, doesn't want to be straight. He wants to be able to play a little cannon on that red and 25. black. Here. Twenty-five. Got down and played that quite quickly for me. Twenty-six. He's still nice on the blue though. Pink's in the way of the direct cannon on the red and black. Thirty-one. To miss the pink there, I had an extreme left-hand side on the cue ball there. You'd be disappointed. Ronnie O'Sullivan, thirty-one. They still in the frame. Foul. Martin Gould for free ball. O'Sullivan knew that the cue ball was going to drop in, but you're simply not allowed to stop it with your hand or your cue. And he couldn't concede because it's only 35 the difference. Seventeen. 
21. 26. 32. I think it's 39 in the front. There's every chance he'll still go on and win the match. But... Yeah, this will be a result. Well, this is a result, London in the pink. Fifteen. Twenty one. Three. Thought it was going to stop under the edge of the red. The cue ball was near his. Four. Eleven. Twelve. Nineteen. <coughs> Twenty. 25, 26. Didn't catch the cannon quite as thick as he wanted to. 33. Has a red to right middle, but doesn't have black to left corner after it. 34. Yeah, that was excellent. Has to be said, played with a little bit of safety. It wasn't going to leave anything should he miss it, but still an excellent pot in position. 41. I just think it's somewhere you can stun the cue ball, just leave it where the red is. Yeah, nice angle just 42. to go into the, the right hand side of this bunch. I have no need to go into the bunch here, but certainly got a nice angle. Yeah, we'll see the red at the back of the pack pots in the left corner. 49. 50. 56. 56. So still needs 57. Another red. Not a straightforward cannon into the bunch. He must hit this pink in the face so this is not easy 50. didn't get the pink actual straight on <coughs> full in the face and that's why he hasn't opened the reds 62 Martin Gould 62 very good 62 but still short of the winning line in this seventh frame Nil 62 seems a lot to, on innumerable occasions. So Salem has cleared up from a deficit like that if he gets a chance. A fluke. <laughs> 
7. Eight. Yeah, this is a great chance to pinch this frame. Fourteen. Fifteen. Twenty one. Twenty-two. Another slight shake of the head. Left him straight in the black. Thirty. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. No just cause or impediment to Sullivan going five two up here. Forty-two. Forty-four. Yeah, possibly early on in the, the frame when Martin was on that break of 62. He had a chance to go into the bunch off the black, refused it, decided to take the open reds, and ended up having to play a far more difficult shot off the blue 61. to open them up. So perhaps a, a wrong shot choice has cost him this frame. Obviously no accounting for the fluke, as you say, Clive. 56. Well, he's not perfect on this pink, though. Pink and black still needed. Sixty-two. Screw on left hand side keeps him in position. Wow, wow. Ronnie O'Sullivan, sixty-two. Wow. You to put your house on O'Sullivan uh, potting that. So Gould's still in it. Yeah, again, really fortunate not to leave a pot on after missing that black off a spot. <coughs> now, has that miss on the black shaken O'Sullivan? Is he going to make another mistake? Gould played the double in such a way that he was always leaving the cue ball on the ball cushion. Nearly got it. the black from its spot for a 5-2 lead but now he's looking at the possibility of a cut to corner yeah these are the kind of shots if you get really close you can leave it over the pocket if he misses it as long as he misses it by a distance he'll get it safe after missing that simple black to the frame, he checked his nerve to pop that one. He goes three up with four to play at 5-2. 5-2. Gould staked everything on that red. Knew that he'd be leaving another red if he didn't pot it. One. So he thought that that was worth a go. Eight. Nine. Sixteen. 
one of Ronnie's great strengths throughout his career has been his ability to close the match out as soon as he gets an opportunity. 70. Wouldn't be surprised if this was the final visit of this match, even at this early stage. 22. 23. 30. 31. 33. 34. 39. 40. 47. 48, 55, 56. Tricky blue, you expect him to get it, but could have been easier. He's going to win in the match. 61. Justifying your faith after the 62. second read, I think it was, Stephen, that this would be the winning visit. 65. That's what the top players do. The sense a chance to win the match and they take it. Well, we've been saying that O'Sullivan hasn't been at his best tonight. He's made quite a few mistakes, but he's made 69. breaks of 79, 52, 48, 89, 62, and now this match clinching effort. Yeah, his first and second gears are still a lot better than most of the players out there. Their A game. Eighty-three. Eighty-four. And now intent on polishing off the evening. Ninety. With century number eight three one. Ninety-one. Quite a few low value colours in this break. Ninety-six. So it looks like being a total clearance of around 120. 99. 103. 108. 114. So, uh, on, ends the evening in style with a total clearance of 121. He beats Martin Gould by six frames to two and will appear in Friday evenings at the same time. I love Ronnie, well, we all.